hello, hello. Hello. What's Thanks. up? Hi, this is uh, Gary. Hey, How's Gary, going, Gary? What's, What's up, up, man? Good. Good. How about you guys? We are good, good man. We ha we have a little bit of delay, so just forgive us if we're talking over each other a little bit. It's just uh, you know. No, no, no. It's good. Um, I love you guys' channel, and uh, thanks for all the content you guys put out there. Appreciate it. So I have a question regarding Blu-ray players, and okay. um, and this might be common knowledge. Not sure, but if you're talking about audio only, and you're using only the HDMI out on Blu-ray players, do they all sound pretty much the same? going to be identical it's only well because it depends so like going from the digital to the domain to the analog domain so your ears can hear it it's going to go through a DAC. Yeah. so right a digital digital to analog converter so if you like say get the sony blu-ray player and the lg blu-ray player and you play the same audio mm -hmm. through it going through your same receiver going through hdmi it's going to sound pretty much identical because they're going through the same exact DAC, right in the receiver yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, some of the more expensive mm -hmm. ones, like you get the U Panasonic UB9000, has the fancier uh -huh. DACs built in. Um, and then you can go out via analog from that machine to your amplifier, whatever. So Got there you're going to have a difference. But that's going to be like two channel or like, I, I don't even know like how many. I think Marantz is, are the only receivers that do a 7.1 analog in anymore. So mm -hmm. you could do that. You could do 7.1 analog out for Dolby True HD and DTSS DTS Master Audio if you have like a you know compatible receiver that'll take a 7.1 input analog input. But for the most part, if you're just using HDMI, yeah, shit's all gonna sound the same. Okay, okay, that's what I figured because you know I was looking into like the um, the UB9000, the Panasonic one, mm -hmm. and you know it's like a thousand dollars, and yeah. I'm just, I was just curious like. Hmm, does that, you know, if I use just HDMI out, will it sound better? Will it not? I find a lot of mixed reviews online or mixed information, so I wasn't sure, but just thought yeah. I'd call and ask you guys. Yeah, no, perfect. Here, here's here's another little um, little little nugget of information uh, for the Panasonic players. The cheapest one, mm -hmm. which I bought on sale for 150 bucks, the UB420. Um, mm -hmm. Then there's, uh, that one has, uh, that one that one, the UB820, which is $500, and the UB9000 all have the exact same video processing, okay? Uh -huh. Just depending on what you want. So the cheapest one doesn't have Dolby Vision. The $500 one has Dolby Vision. And then the $1,000 one, it's pretty much the same as the $500 one just with the analog outputs. That's that's really it. Gotcha. And, and, and then the build quality. Yeah, that nice thing is, 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 is built like a tank. The others have a mix of metal and plastic. Um, so it depends on like what what it is you're going for, um, but yeah. Okay. All right, cool guys. Thanks. I think that answers the question. I I know there's a lot of different um, Blu-ray players that affect the picture quality, but I just honestly care about audio. So that's gotcha. what I wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem, guys. Thanks for answering. Yeah. Take care. Take it yeah, easy. Too. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, Chana, you said it was a UB. What? Nine. Well, there's several. You said what? Yeah. 420? It's the yeah. The Panasonic is the the UB 420, the UB 820, and the UB 9000. Those are mm -hmm. the models that are sold in the United States. I think um, in Australia and the UK they have a couple more. Okay. Um,